<clears throat> we all agreed not to go wandering around during the night time, so I guess I've got no choice. Time to crash. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Monokuma, can I talk to you about something? I hate myself. I don't have any unique hobbies or special talents I can brag about. My grades are average and my reflexes are nothing to write home about either. If I study, I can probably make it into some university, find some new friends, maybe even a girlfriend. And that's exactly what I hate about myself. I figured it out. My life is just one big cut and paste job, isn't it? An uninspired knockoff. Isn't that right, Mr. Monokuma? <clears throat> ah, yes, right. I'd just like to let you know that your Electro IDs have been updated. There's a new rule, so be sure to read over it and enjoy the new, more enriching academic environment. Gotta go get to the cafeteria. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna save real quick here. Or not. Now I can save. Save my other copy as well. Cool, cool. Uh, I don't think the school, like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the seventh rule is just this. There's a lot more rules than I thought. Yeah, that tenth rule. Alright, so the bath is open now. Is everyone already here? <gasps> nah, dude, still waiting on Togs and Ish. Togami's no surprise, but Ishimura, he's almost never late. Ishimura went to Togami's room to assist him with his chronic lateness. He should be back soon enough. Until then, we wait. Yeah, I dropped my controller. Waiting doesn't bother me, but there's another issue. An issue? <sighs> How the hell is that our problem? Would you kindly make me a cup of tea? Me? Make that milk tea if you would be so kind. Why me? You bear the same plump form as the master of the cafe I used to frequent. That's a reason? Do be quick about it, please. I'm parched. Alright. Seemingly unable to refuse Celeste's order... Yamada waddled into the kitchen with a look of discontent. A few minutes later. Sorry to keep you waiting. The aroma of the tea wafted through the cafeteria as Yamada returned, carrying a tray in one hand. I'm looking forward to tasting it. You might as well have made some for everyone while you were in there. I reject your proposal out of hand. You didn't even resemble my type. Who? Oh, all flows along the currents of causality. That allow me. With a smile on her face, Les reached forward and picked up the teacup. What's this? She tilted her head as she spoke, and then launched the cup at the wall. What? 
it. Terry, Terry, what are you doing? I cannot stand milk tea of this kind. Uh, I am unable to comprehend. Let's say that, hypothetically, I was going to order a cup of tea at a nearby cafe. And when I do, the waitress asks me, would you like lemon or milk? In response, I tell her I want milk tea. The waitress comes back, and with my tea, she brings me a small dish of milk. I am, the one to pr I am one who prefers to have the milk put in my tea as it's being brewed. Preparing it this way gives the tea an incomparably more pleasant aroma. Further, choosing to add milk or lemon after the fact reduces the decision to that of picking a condiment. I, for one, question the legitimacy of glorifying such a choice as a menu item. As such, I will only acknowledge royal milk tea brewed directly in milk. If I were to describe, if I were to describe the look on everyone's faces, like deer in the headlights, is about the only way I could do it. Uh, so this is how you thank me for going out of my way to make you tea? I understand you're frustrated. In a cafeteria that serves both milk tea and royal milk tea, the latter is always, always the more expensive. Certainly that's because it takes more work to brew. However, what's good is a menu item that doesn't take a little bit... What good is a menu item that doesn't take a little bit of effort to make? Um, first of all, there's no menu here. Show your fucking trap and go make me my goddamn tea, Porky. Yes, Porky at your service, bringing your tea right away. It's amazing how far a little intimidation can go. Your personality changed. Shit, man, that made me jump. It looks like my first impression of her was right on the money. She's impossible to read. While everyone in the room was still trembling at our encounter with Celeste's true colors, the cafeteria door burst open and the person we were waiting for stepped through. Except... Attention, soldiers. We have an unusual situation on our hands. Huh? What up? Tagami's not coming out of his room. I rang the bell a number of times, but he just wouldn't come out. Could he be pretending to be out? That would be ideal. But what if something happened to him? Everyone in the room understood exactly what he meant. Close enough on that translation, right? Maybe we should split up and go look for him. I'll have you know, I was planning to suggest the same thing. This is not the time to, tr to be trying to one-up each other. All right, then I'll go to his room again. I won't stop ringing the bell until he comes out. Very well. Then the rest of us shall split up and search elsewhere. Before we, before we're really too late. Anyway, we gotta hurry and find him. Now where might Tagami have gone? <clears throat> it's possible he might be exploring the second floor again. So you had the same idea. What? Based on what Tagami showed an interest in yesterday, you can make a pretty good guess as to where he is now, wouldn't you say? The thing he showed an interest in yesterday, what was that again? That was the archives and the library. So let's go there. <coughs> I opened the door to the library and stuck my head inside, and when I did, I let out a surprised gasp. <gasps> Togami. The scene I bore witness to was so far outside my expectations. They caught me off guard. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm finishing or something? I'm fishing or something? The other way would have been waiting for it. I'm reading, so be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What the heck are you doing here? We were worried. We've all been looking for you. Who on earth possessed you to do such a thing? 
We all agreed to have breakfast together in the cafeteria, remember? I agreed to that. Give me a break, I can't even relax with a book around here. Togami clapped his book shut and then he stood up slowly, like a shadow growing beneath the setting sun. And as he did, everyone else came clamoring into the library, having apparently overheard our conversation. So this is where you've been, Togami. The heck you doing, man? We were worried. You had no reason whatsoever to worry about me. I was just reading a book. I've never read such a pedestrian novel before, but I thought it might be of some use in this situation. What were you reading? A mystery novel. Did you perhaps intend to make use of one of its tricks? Don't be stupid. What he said. I'll just use them as inspiration. What? When it's my turn to play the game, I'll use a trick of my own making. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be nearly as fun if I didn't. <laughs> it's not every day you get the chance to participate in such a palpably tense game, you know? So there's no point in not enjoying yourself. I was frozen in place. There was a clearly visible smile on Tagami's face. He actually looked like he was enjoying himself. Enjoying this twisted academic coliseum. Game? What the hell are you talking about? Enough crazy talk, you little bitch. <laughs> a game is a game. And this is a game of life and death. Where there can only be one victor. That's all there is to it. A zero-sum game. Huh? The term comes from game theory, a branch of mathematics. In game theory, a situation like this is referred to as a zero-sum game. When resources are finite, one person's gain results one person's gain results in an equal degree of loss among the other players. Take poker, for example, like a game of tug of war. Or a school entrance exam. A vast majority of social interaction can be described as zero-sum games. Each school admits a limited number of students, and your acceptance means another's rejection. At the same, And the same applies to this situation we find ourselves in now. Only in this case, the resource we're competing for is the singular title of successful villain. In other words, this was always meant to be a game of King of the Castle. You're saying that this is just King of the Castle? That's why I said we needed to adapt. If everyone stops wanting to get out, then there's no need to worry about getting caught up in the game. Why wouldn't you want to participate in such a thrilling game? As Togami said before, he laughed again. His face contorted into a devilish grin. The possibility of losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Of course not. That shouldn't surprise me, coming from the successor of one of the world's leading financial giants. I just think he's been cocky, dude. And what happens if you die? I won't die. Not even a chance. The hell's your problem? You know, I'm surprised. What the hell about? That the archaic breeds of misfits you were plucked from haven't gone to existing. I'll fucking kill you. I told you once and I'll tell you again. I will not be killed. We're just going in circles here. Say as much as you want, it's no use. The concept of losing doesn't exist for him. He's the super duper high school scion. One of the elite groomed to inherit the Tagami group. From birth, he has, he has had it drilled into his head that he's destined to succeed, and he's accomplished that. Games, tests to him, these all exist for one purpose, to win, even if it means putting his life on the line. Isn't that right? I'm impressed. You and I are one and the same. I too believe the games exist to be won. Shut that filthy mouth of yours, don't you, and don't go comparing me to the likes of you. My oh my, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Anyway, I do have one thing to say. I hope you all bring the same level of ambition. The game just won't be nearly as much fun otherwise. No, you can't. What was that? This this isn't a game. Our lives are at stake. We're all friends. We can't kill each other. That's just not right. Friends? When did that happen? Huh? We're not friends, no, it's the exact opposite. We're opponents, all vying for this spot on the top of the hill. But still. But who said you could use that word? A plebeian like you need only agree with me. If you have something to say, say it. If you can't, then don't open your mouth at all. 
the hell, man? You get some sick pleasure out of bullying people weaker than you? You make me sick. And the buddy buddy act has started again. How long are you going to keep this up? Fuck you. Fuck you? Really? I can hardly believe my ears. It seems you're only capable of spewing simple-minded, meaningless drivel. That's it. You're dead. Hey, calm down. I am fucking calm. Sure you are. In any event, I have no intention of continuing to work with you. I have no desire to waste my time on something so meaningless as cooperating with my opponents in a game of King of the Castle. Meaningless? And don't even get me started on those friendly meals together. Someone could slip me poison, and I have no interest in consuming my last supper here. You're nothing but freaking theatrics. You're on your own from here. Count me out. Having said that, Togami left the library, not looking back once. We had no way of stopping him. <clears throat> the way his mind worked was far beyond our ability to comprehend. He's serious? Without a doubt. He ain't getting away with that. But maybe he's right. You can't say for sure that nobody's going to slip poison into someone else's food. Come on, you too, Fukawa? What's gotten into you? It's not like anyone here is going to be worse off without me. In fact, you want me gone, don't you? I disgust you. No, nobody thinks that. You just think you don't think it. That's all. But in reality, you all think I'm vile. They're saying you're everyday <clears throat> persecution complex, dude. I get it. You want to get rid of me, don't you? All of you. We're thinking exactly the same thing. Wait, hold on. Let her be. No one can stop her when she's like that. In the end, the morning assembly never happened. <clears throat> it sort of just fizzled into nothingness. And we all returned to our rooms. <sighs> what a way to start the day. I'm already exhausted. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean I can just spend the rest of the day doing nothing. I should find some way to take my mind off things. Free time hype! Uh, I'm gonna save. As I press the wrong button. fast travel and spend all this moolah. This might take a hot second. You need to go get a drink now. Now's the time to do it.
forget to use them. <coughs> well, at least the miss rate is going up quite a bit, so maybe I won't have to... I, I don't mind really doing this 55 times or something like that. Like, I know these are important because you get skills out of them. Like, developing relationships with the other individuals. I didn't expect to get so many coins from when I completed the first chapter. Because I think you get 60 from just doing that. 50 or 60, something like that. Lucky free roll. I think I got that ring like three times now. Maybe it was something that just looked close to it. I don't know. A telephone. I don't know what that is. Cat hairpin. Is that a cassette tape? Radio. At least it looks like a radio. Slippers, all right. Ring again. That's not for the shaman guy. I don't know what it is. At least every item brings the miss rate up quite a bit, so I won't feel quite as bad uh, using like two coins or something when it's down to like 60-50% or something. Use two coins here. Two coins seems to pretty much guarantee a new item right now.
All right, plethora of new items. Uh, who's on this floor? Absolutely no one. Hung out with you before. I have not hung out with Programmer Chick. Let's go hang out. I give you a present? Yes, I will. What do I think the programmer girl likes? Thing. What do you think she would like? I'm gonna go with this. I think I think this girl is like, just looking through my item list here. <clears throat> Cause I don't wanna I don't really wanna look up like an item list just to be like, oh yeah. You know, I kinda wanna have like one a pure playthrough to a certain degree. Um No, man, I feel like something high tech she already has, so just giving her like the dandelion would work out. I'm gonna go with it and see what happens. Oh, nailed it! At least I hope I, I haven't seen her reactions before, so. Mm. I think that's what he says if it's like something that they really like, because he said that the other times. got some time left in the day. I don't really feel like hanging out there. Alright, let's hang out with Celeste. Oh, 